I'm in prison. Do, 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 do. They lock me up. Do, 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 do. Don't know what for. Do, 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 do. They said it was murder, but I was framed by somebody. Any of you guys? I don't know. No? Okay, this is kind of weird. I'm trying to poop and sing at the same time because singing kind of makes me feel more comfortable when I'm pooping. I poop and sing. It's just th it's a thing I do. Let's not get weird about it. I'm pooping and singing uh, to try and make myself feel more comfortable because I have to go for a poop in front of all these guys. Can everybody just look? Yeah, look, everyone just look away while I'm pooping. <clears throat> okay, poop completed. Flush A of the toilet. Perfect. Oh, no, I sat back down on it. Okay, it's flushed. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Y'all might want to give that a few minutes. That is stinky stinky. Um, oh, so these are kind of my cellmates. Well, I'm kind of a little bit scared. I know I kind of seem real. That guy scares me up there. That guy really scares me. I know I seem kind of relaxed and stuff, but I'm not really relaxed and stuff. Um, okay, who's this guy? Um, hey, buddy. Uh, name's, name's Steve. Scooby Steve. Um, I, I'm in here for, like, no reason, really. <laughs> that makes sense, but, um... What, what, what are you in here for? I'm, I'm in here for murder, but I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I know everyone probably says that in here that it wasn't me because it genuinely wasn't me. It, you gotta get me out of here. Please get me out of here. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. it what, what are you in here for? Well, I'm gonna tell you while I'm in here. I'm in here because my family was starving and I went to the grocery store and I brought me a loaf of bread for my starving wife and kids. Is that such a crime? Oh, oh. Well, look, I don't condone stealing or robbery or anything like that, mister, but you, you stole a loaf of bread to feed your starving family, and that seems a little bit unfair, guys. I mean, his, his family is starving. Although, on the other hand, you did break the law, though. Yeah. See, I'm okay. I'm totally innocent, and I know it. I didn't do anything wrong. I may have been caught at the crime scene. I may have had blood on my hands, but that's because there's blood everywhere. That's not my fault. And I may... Have been the only person who was described as the murderer. But yeah, uh, actually, that really sounds like it was me. But none of that was me. It wasn't me, I'm telling you. Uh, what about you, Mr. Bandana Man? Oh, let me guess. You karate chopped somebody in the head and their head fell off. And now you're in trouble because they have no head. And the person who had the head really needed the head to, to live and live their life and go about their business. But now they have no head because you karate chopped their head off. Is that is that right? Tell me. I'm right. I'm going to... Huh? What do you mean, karate chop? I didn't karate chop nobody. You better not start any rumors like that because that's not what happened. Huh? Oh, what, you think this is a karate headband? Nah, you're totally wrong. I was running a marathon. That's all that happened. And, well, um, I kind of cheated. I was halfway through the marathon and I decided to get a taxi. And when the taxi came up, I hopped in it and it, it took me to a mile. Just off the finish line, and then, and then I decided to just cheat, and I ran, and I won the marathon, and now they've locked me up here. This isn't a karate band. This is a sweat band. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't even be in here. This is crazy. Oh, so that's a sweat band. And you were jogging, and you cheated in a race, and you've been arrested for that. Yeah, okay. Look, I'm gonna give you a little piece of advice. I'm, I've been in prison before, and you're gonna want to listen, listen up, okay? If anybody asks you why you're in here, go with the karate chop and the head falling off story. That seems a lot more tough, you know? If you tell them you cheated in a race, and that's why they threw you in here, yeah, you're not gonna last very long. I mean, there's some pretty mean dudes around here. Like this guy up here, he looks real scary. I'm gonna go up and talk to him, but um, you keep uh, karate chopping people's heads off. Tell them that. Okay, bye-bye. Um, hey, what about you, mister? What are you in here for? Hey, hey, look at me. Talk to me. What are you in here for? Hey, kid. You better back away from me. You don't know what I got into. And you don't want to know, okay? So you better step off of me now. What? Of course I want to know. Come on, tell me. I, I, know about, I know about everything. That guy down there karate chopped someone's head off. And the other guy robbed some bread for his starving family. And me, well, I'm in for murder, but I didn't do it, so it's it's okay. But I'm pretty sure you hear that all the time. Come on, come on, come on, tell me what's wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with me, kid. I was just paid by this big shot guy. He was wearing a big suit, and he was huge. And he paid me to kill this witch doctor lady for money. And I did it, and I don't have any regrets. Whoa! You're scary! You really did all that? I mean, some big 
guy that kind of looks like a shark in a suit hired you to kill some weird old witch lady? That is crazy. Whoa, man, you should write a book about that. That's insane stuff. <laughs> Whoa, you're one mean dude. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, like, see, you just went in there and killed that, killed that woman. That's insane. Because some big shark guy that looks like a shark did that. Told you to do that. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, what's up, guys? Come on, seriously, you guys, I know you guys can't hold me in here forever. Come on, you gotta get me out of here. Hmm, well, you got me there. We can't hold you for any longer than 48 hours. So, I assume you're good to go. Collect your things and get out of here. Ah, perfect. That's excellent. Yeah, I knew you guys couldn't hold me for too much longer. See you later, suckers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that is crazy. Whoa. I feel kind of bad for that guy that stole the bread. And the guy that did the race. As for the other guy, though, he committed murder. Murder for some shark, man. <laughs> oh, what a silly Billy. Okay, i got to figure this whole thing out. I think I need to go to the doctor, get some medicine, medicine, get some sleeping tablets or something because I'm, I haven't been sleeping right properly and I'm obviously seeing the wrong the wrong things from seeing Sharky's dad. I mean, that guy doesn't even exist. It's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, I think I should just go home. Hold on a second. The prisoner. What? Oh no. Why didn't I think of this before? Oh my goodness, I've been so silly. Oh, the prisoner that I was talking to. Why didn't he just buy the bread? <laughs> what an idiot! He should have just went ahead and bought the bread! <laughs> Stealing the bread, like... No! The other prisoner! The other prisoner said that he was paid by a big giant shark man! Which is Sharky's dad! That's who I must be seen! So this guy was paid to kill him! So it's not me! So I am innocent! These kind guys can't hold me for, for more than 48 hours, but they're gonna come back with the proper evidence and try and frame me again! Oh no, I gotta get to this guy! Sorry guys, I gotta go and speak to one of those inmates! Uh, where is he? Where? Mister! Where is he? Is he hiding in the bathroom? Is he hiding in the toilets? Where is he? Where is that guy? No! Get out of my way! Where is he? Where is that inmate? He did it! He did it! He was the guy who killed the old lady! I'm telling you, you gotta interview him! You gotta find out where that guy is! Wherever that guy is that was standing there, he was the guy who murdered somebody! He he was paid by a big giant shark, uh, Sharky's dad, who's not dead, he's back from the dead, and he's framed me for some crazy reason! Which is crazy because all I've ever done was been nice to him and his whole family and, his be and my best friend is his son. And this is crazy so I don't know what that guy's talking about but he killed the old witch doctor lady thingy magic. And now I've been, I've been framed for it. Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, that guy? <laughs> oh, we let him go. We couldn't hold him for longer than 48 hours either. Although he was pretty interested in you. He kept asking questions like your name, home address, stuff like that. We told him a few things. What? You let him go? Are you guys, are you guys insane? Why did you just let him go? I mean, uh, and he asked for my address. He wants to know who I am. What did he ask all these things about me? Oh, seriously, come on, you guys are killing me here. Oh, well, okay, well, well done. Silly cop. And you, you should have just bought the bread. And you make it clearer next time that you're running a race and not, I don't know, chopping people's heads off with your credit chops. Oh, no. I've got to go home now and live in constant fear. <laughs> That'd be fine. He only knows my name. I'm sure they didn't give him my address. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm not worried about it. Don't be worried about it, because I'm not worried about it. It's fine. I'm not worried. <laughs> oh, this dang car is so slow. Come on. Faster. We gotta get home. I'm a little bit worried. Ah, nothing's gotta go wrong. Come on, I'm being silly about this. What am I being silly for? Oh no. What is that up ahead? Is that a fire? That is a fire. What happened here? Oh no, what's is that ice? Oh no! I didn't see that ice! Oh no! Ah, no! Oh, my head! Oh, it's so sore. Oh, what a terrible accident. Oh, first I was framed for murder and now this. Whoa, I must have slipped on this ice. Whoa, yeah, it is pretty slippy. Although, it looks perfect. Why is there no ice anywhere else? I mean, it's not exactly cold out. Why is there so much ice all in here? Doesn't make sense. And hey, look, these tires are kind of... Yeah. What's this fire doing? It doesn't make sense. Fire? Ice? <laughs> I don't get it. Ah, anyway, my head's okay. I seem pretty good. I'm, I'm doing okay. Well, wow, after getting the beat down from the gardener the last time, been thrown in jail, and now this? What? <gasps> oh no! It's the guy from jail. No! You stay away from me! You stay away from me! I know what you did! You're the murderer! And I'm gonna tell everybody! Oh no. Oh no, he's coming after me! Oh no, I gotta get out of here! I gotta run for my life! <laughs> 
Oh no. Oh, I think I gotta just roam these woods for a while. This is so scary. That guy tracked me down so easily and he laid a trap. I don't think he's here on his own. I think he's in, I think he's in this with someone else. But who else could it be? Who would want to have me murdered or framed or killed or captured? I don't even know what's going on. That guy wants to kill me. Oh, okay, guys. There's only one thing for it. You guys are going to have to try and help me out. You're going to have to get onto Sharky. <laughs> Leave comments. Anything you can. He's going to come and help me. Wherever he is. I don't know where he is at the moment. This is so scary. It's so spooky. I don't know where he is. Tell him I'm in hiding. <laughs> that I'm on the run. Anything at all. Just something. I need him to come and help me. Please. Just tell him that I'm here. Oh no. Tell him that. I think his dad might be back from the dead. Oh no. What was that? Oh, I'm just gonna have to spend this night, whole night in the spooky woods on my own.